thanks for joining me. I'm back out on uh, the, the Little Ooze. So you would have seen this before in a previous video. However, I'm out for a solo on the kayak. So I'm going to do an overnighter. Uh, I'm also here because I'm meeting another YouTuber. But that will be a separate video. So make sure you subscribe, thumbs up and all that jazz. The plan today is to meet with Jonathan during the day. Uh, take him and explore this stretch of the river, which I've done several times before. Show him some possible camp spot locations, and then I'm going to leave him uh, this afternoon to do his own silo adventure. Uh, and I'm going to head off to do my own silo adventure. So, should be fun. Like I say, I'm just waiting for Jonathan to arrive, uh, and then we'll get going. I mean, uh, very generous gift from Jonathan, a barefoot wine which is quite appropriate this morning, as I am barefoot. I can't find you already. Very much appreciated, mate. Oh, and it's thank you excellent much. to meet you. Brilliant, isn't you? I'm looking forward to this one. Mac and cheese. Yeah. So, uh, three swans just showing a bit of aggression towards this one. Not too sure why, but that is absolutely massive. I should probably explain at this point that while me and Jonathan were having lunch, uh, we were dodging some heavy showers, so we so we discussed and planned to meet again the following day, so that we could do a bit of filming together. Um, but then this happened. At which point, I thought it was probably best I made a move and tried to get myself uh, to where I was going to camp for the night. So I'm just heading down the river, trying to find myself a, a camp spot for the night. I've uh, left Jonathan in one of my previous camp spots, probably one of my favourites to be honest. But, you know, I'm happy and I'm happy to give up up my uh, favourite camping spot for, for for somebody else who's never been here before. I've been here several times. I can come here whenever I want. It's it's not a million miles away. It is one of my favourite places to come. So, uh, Jonathan's travelled a couple of hours, I think, I think, this morning to be here. So, uh, obviously, I want him to enjoy it. So, and I'm sure he will. Yeah, like I said, the location I've left him, it's a lovely, lovely little area. Really nice little piece of woodland. And uh, a nice bit of green grass out the front. Almost like a little meadow, if you like. But, cascades into the river but anyway that's uh, enough of my waffle I'm gonna switch the camera off and uh, I'm gonna kick it into high gear because lights fading and I need to get camp set up <laughs> as always typical fashion leave it till last minute on my way to my location I also got caught in, uh, in a couple of heavy showers and then when I arrived at the location it, uh, it was the the rain was so heavy uh, that the cameras pretty much didn't come out again uh, most of the night other than uh, a couple of little snippets while there were some passing jets
I, uh, I brought a little pop-up tent with me just to check everything in, like, just so I could set it up, chuck everything in it uh, out of the rain. So I knew the rain was forecast. Um, so you know, I could keep everything dry whilst I got uh, the tarp and hammock set up. But uh, I put my obviously I put some gear in it and I, I tried to move the little tent and uh, when I dragged it, I really tore the side of it. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, and obviously I jumped back in the kayak to head off to find my little camp spot location for the night. I got soaked in the process of doing that. I got here, chucked the little tent back up again, thinking it'd keep stuff mostly dry. And uh, no, no, it flooded in, absolutely flooded in. Pretty much everything I've got with me is soaked, but oh well. Um, the only thing that I had dry was my spare clothes, which I've, I've put on. Um, so yeah, in the morning, <laughs> it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. But uh, live and learn, eh? Oh well, it is what it is, isn't it, you know? What can I do? What can I do? I'll tell you what I can do. I can, uh, I can put my head down for the night, get some kit. Just make the most of being out here. I mean, this, this is, listen to that rain. following morning uh, I received a message from Jonathan to say that he was in the same the same sorry state that I was in uh, cold and wet and uh, realistically just wanted to, to get packed up and, and, and make a move and I really don't blame him uh, I felt the same to be honest slightly disappointing obviously that that we didn't get to to do any filming together um, but the Plus side of that is uh, gives an, uh, us an excuse to to meet up again. Morning, folks. It's, uh, it's just gone six. I was going to try and get catch the sunrise. Oh, I can hear it starting to rain again. You can probably hear it. I don't want to get out. If it's going to rain, I don't want to get out because I'm going to get bloody soaked and I'm in the only dry clothes I've got. Good morning. Just want to bow out for you. Let's have a look pretty. I got caught out in the rain, to be honest. Always be prepared. And I wasn't. Not quite. But live and learn. I suppose better get up really, aren't I? Tear the camp down, load the boat back up, and uh, make my way back to the car park. Just uh, clipped my little camp spot down from last night. It was absolutely teeming down with rain last night, all night. Um, it stopped probably around about seven, eight o'clock this morning. Um, it's now just gone nine. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump back on the on the kayak and start making my way home. Not a, not a great deal of content for this video, but I had, I've enjoyed myself nonetheless. Uh, and I just hope that shows. So yeah, get out of there guys and, uh, and do what makes you happy. We're gonna get one shot at it, don't we? Right. Slow up of water before we get going. It's actually really turned out really warm this morning. So after all that rain and miserable weather, what beautiful day it is now. Right, let's get a show on the road. Yep. I'm pretty sure I've got everything. Uh, tough titties if I haven't really. I'll have to come back for it, like I did a camera once. Left one of my action cams. I'd knocked it off the kayak. 
uh, and I came back the following day when I realised I've, I've got all the gear out of the bag. I couldn't find this camera anywhere. And it dawned on me that the only place it could be is still in the woods. Sure enough, yeah, I went straight back the next day and, uh, and found it. Oh, that sun is beautiful. Probably a bit too much this morning. <laughs> So, uh, you may have seen, I may have dropped a snippet in already. I actually met with Jonathan yesterday from uh, my 24 hour adventure. Uh, and what a lovely bloke he is, I have to say. Absolute gentleman, really nice guy. And I'm, I'm really pleased that I met up, or that we met up. Um, uh, we, we arrived at a camp, and, uh, camp spot last night, or yesterday. Uh, we had some lunch together. Sat chatting for for several hours, um, and then the uh, the heavens opened and the rain came. At which point, I thought it was probably wise to to make a move and, and get myself to a camp camp spot and, uh, and and set up. But by the time I'd done that, I was absolutely drenched. Literally, everything I've got with me is, is soaking wet. Um, apart from the clothes that I've got on. A little bit under, under prepared, a little bit unprepared. Um, yeah, I need to definitely invest in some more, some more kit, dry bag, maybe a poncho, waterproof poncho. Give you a little bit of a view of what I've got today. approaching the, the location that I left Jonathan in last night. Stunning little place, absolutely stunning location. So, this is Jonathan from My 24 Hour Adventure. Uh, he's, he's just a little bit uh, late, not quite 24 hours late. Sorry, <laughs> interrupting, Con. That's fine, mate. Uh,